hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to review another custom rom for redmi note 8 this time we have evolution os and the version of evolution os is 7.5 and this rom is actually i can say one of the best rom right now and i haven't found any kind of issue with this rom actually so i will tell you what are the features what are we getting with this rom and what are the cons actually there is no cons at all right now so let's go and check what we are getting with this one first of all so as you can see here so with this um rom we are getting under 13 as usual and we are getting like the security patch level let me show you so as you can see under 13 and evolution x 7.5 and january 5 2023 is the security patch so this one is the latest uh build and I have flushed actually 7.4, then I then I updated the ROM to 7.5. So if you want to do like dirty flush on 7.4 to 7.5, you can do that. So just download the package and uh, flush it from the recovery, that's all. So I have done it and there was no issue with that actually, it's working just fine. So if we come to like our setting panel, setting menus are the same as like stock ROM and we are getting Xiaomi parts option good things and also we are getting the Evolver so the Evolver has a lot of features which are you can customize so we have like gesture, animation, lock skin, power menu and status bar and theme also so you can go you can choose theme, icon pack and your a font and even navigation bar style so whatever you want and you can choose the dark theme and maybe yeah it's it's a uh, you can use in dark theme and maybe black theme also available so if you click on black it will be directly black so as you can see here so for the video I'm not using that usually I use dark dark mode on my phone mostly now if we are as we are in setting menu let's go and check our hotspot option so if you use your Redmi phone to share internet so if you go here Wi-Fi and hotspot so we don't have like uh, 5 gigahertz band option here this is not an issue it's that it, it, you don't have the feature and if you go here it's a security panel we are getting like so we are getting face unlock and fingerprint unlock both of them and face unlock work just fine it's not that fast but it's working but for fingerprint unlock it's very quick actually so as you can see here it's very quick let me check with our uh, face unlock so as you can see here it takes time as you can see maybe yeah so it's open now it takes time but so the the face unlock is uh a bit slower part but fingerprint is working just great so everything working fine here there was no problem and then, as i said so if i go with the menu so if we are getting gcam go and it's working fine and if you will install any kind of gcam those will work just fine and i have installed magisk as you can see here and why i said this one this is one of the best rom although uh there are like dreadfest and see droid rom which are really good roms but why i'm saying this one is best because of one thing it has safety net pulse so you can use bank apps on this this rom and if you install magisk on this rom you have to uh, hide the magics to get it passed so so magics pass in this rom so that's why this is one of the best rom i haven't found magics pass on my see droid rom maybe because of magics i have installed magics but in this rom i have checked it and it's working fine and if you install magics if you want to restore apps from your previous backup you can do that too so as you can see i have already restored all the apps and those apps are working fine and there are one more app that come with this rom is that paper where you will get like a lot of wallpapers for for this rom so you can download and install not so nice actually but still you have like but i prefer google uh, wallpaper that apps if that is better so i have that one too just downloaded it from online uh from play store and rather than that one of the best thing about this rom is that the launcher they use so they use Evolution Launcher, which is a great launcher. So it is, as you can see, Evo X Launcher. 
So main thing of this ROM, as you can see, you can set dock like you do on iPhone. And other thing is that I, which I like very much, but I'm not using on this phone because it is not uh, not really a, f a good thing to do on this phone because the screen is so s small. So if we go here, home screen, and so we can like disable Google search bar and other things and top shot as status bar and other things here. So let me show you that thing. Where is it? So app drawer and theme icon and all this thing and other than that, you use taskbar. So this is one of the thing I could not find on another ROM, which is survival on this ROM is this ROM, this thing. If you use this one, use taskbar. So if I close here, let it refresh. So the taskbar is here. So whatever you do now, the taskbar will be there, even if you go to some app. So it's it will be always visible. Even if you go to like Facebook, WhatsApp or whatever you use, like if I open this, this is still visible so that you can switch between apps, whatever you like, you can put it there and it will be like very fast and you, the menu button is also here, it's very fast and fluid and work just fine and this thing actually is really good for tablet users, not for like mobile users so that's why I'm saying it's not really useful here but it's amazing that they put this thing here and it's working just fine, there is no problem with that now about the problem, so as I said, there is no, not really a problem here that much. One of the thing I have noticed is that when I have installed this ROM after using 2-3 days, I was getting very bad battery backup, but from today, I was getting really good battery backup. Maybe it took time to adjust, and it's now the battery backup is awesome here in this ROM, and it's about same as Dripfest and C Droid ROM, and it's working really great now, right now. So, I'm using Wi-Fi, I'm using my mobile data and still the battery percentage as you can see maybe I have used 2-3 hours right now and the battery is still 54% maybe we will get 6 hours plus from this ROM uh, it's really good because it's an old phone the battery is already degraded a lot but still we are getting 6 hours plus on, from this phone it's really amazing rather than that it has game mode maybe I have installed maybe okay let me open my ID and let's see so there is game mode so if I do like try to close the app so as you can see let it open okay as you can see here we can see here game mode if you click here so they will open the menu of game mode so you can do the like optimization and it's other things like FPS you can check the FPS count you can record the video and also you can stream the video so this is what it's come with and that's actually great if you are uh, using this phone to stream your gameplay then you can do it too and although I haven't done like streaming from this mobile phone I don't really use this phone as a gaming phone because this is not a gaming phone but still you will get a decent gameplay from this phone and although it's a four years or three or four years old phone but it still works just fine rather than that actually I haven't found any kind of issue with this stuff I will put the link in the description below it come with GFs you don't need to flash, flash any kind of G apps and it's working fine. And if you are looking for a ROM which support bank apps and which works great, which has a good battery backup, I don't really uh, think about the gaming performance, but multitasking has no issue with this ROM. It has good RAM management, so you can go with this ROM. So that's it about like Evolution X 7.5 here and based on Android 13. That's it about this ROM. And I think I have give you all the all the information about this song so that's it about it so please sarakara 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 sarakara